Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Atlanta Grill Company. Today we're going to do round two of our three-part pizza video series where I'm teaching you how easy it is to make homemade pizza dough. Today we are going to do the 24-hour dough or we're going to start it today, cook our pizza tomorrow, and you're going to get to see that this is no more difficult hands-on wise than the last one we did. If you're watching us on Facebook, how about giving us a thumbs up? And if you're watching on YouTube, how about hitting that subscribe button? And then hit the bell icon so you can get alerts each time we publish a new video. So let's get started. Our 24 hour pizza dough recipe is going to be exactly the same as our 2 hour recipe with one exception. We are using less yeast. I've got 500 grams of all purpose flour, I've got 10 grams of salt, I've got 300 grams of water, and the water this time is room temperature water, and then I've got one gram or one and a half grams of instant yeast and that's a half a teaspoon so I'm gonna go ahead and dump that into my room temperature water and I'm just gonna stir that up for a moment I want to just get that yeast completely dissolved in my water and while that's dissolving in the water I'm gonna go ahead and dump my salt into the flour and kinda mix that up a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the bowl of the stand mixer and then I'm going to turn my stand mixer on with a dough hook to a low speed and I'm just going to drizzle my water with the yeast into the flour. And once I have all that in there, I'm just going to let that come together as a shaggy mass of dough. And once that comes together to about what you see here, I'm going to let that knead for about eight minutes here until it comes completely together until it's pulling away from the sides of the bowl cleanly and after about seven or eight minutes in the mixer this is what you have and this is good to go so I'm gonna stop that and we're gonna take it out so I've taken my dough out and we're gonna do the same thing we did before I'm just gonna kinda shape this guy and turn it under until I've got a tight skin across the top and I'm going to pitch it together at the bottom and I'm going to put it skin side down into my greased bowl and roll it around a little bit and then flip it over and now I'm going to cover this guy with plastic wrap and once I have it covered with plastic wrap I'm going to let it sit here on the countertop for one to two hours uh, and after that, I'm going to toss it in the refrigerator. So it's going to do most of its rising and fermenting in the refrigerator overnight. So we'll be back tomorrow afternoon to have our next look at this. Okay, I've got this out of the refrigerator. Uh, I'm planning to cook in about four hours. So it's about noon here. So I'm going to take the plastic wrap off of this dough. And you can see this dough has risen some, but it hasn't risen a whole lot since we put it in the refrigerator. The cold air kind of retards the rise, but the fermentation is still going on, and this dough is very stiff. But what I want to do next is we're going to divide that dough into roughly three equal pieces because I'm going to be making smaller pizzas today using the rock box. So I'm just going to kind of mark my center there and we're going to trim that up into roughly three equal pieces. I'm going to try to weigh these here just to see how close we got to making those equal. And what I want to do here is once again I want to shape these into a dough ball with a tight skin across the top. It's not real hard to do. You just want to kind of get it balled up and 
on the bottom you can just pinch it together it doesn't have to be anything particular or anything fancy so I'm gonna do that with both of these we're actually gonna do it with all three I'm not gonna toss any of this dough out this dough if I wasn't going to use all this dough this is this this is the point where I would freeze this I would put this in the freezer and if I wanted to freeze this dough ball what I would do is I would put this on a sheet pan in the freezer until it firmed up quite a bit I would give it maybe an hour and then I would take it out and I would probably put it in a vacuum seal bag to put it back in the freezer so now that I've got these dough balls formed I'm just gonna put these in my little pan here and I'm gonna get a piece of plastic wrap and cover those up and uh, let them rest out here at room temperature I'm probably also gonna hit the top of those with a puff of cooking spray just to keep them from forming a skin so now we'll just cover those up and these will rise some and puff up during the next four hours okay it's about time to start thinking about cooking these pizzas so I've got my rock box fired up and I'm gonna bring this guy up to a temperature somewhere around 700 degrees to cook this pizza and once I get this thing up to temperature we'll put our pizza together okay my oven's ready so I'm gonna work up one of my dough balls here I'm just gonna sprinkle I put some flour down on my mat I'm gonna put a little flour on top and I'm gonna shape this guy okay I've got my dough stretched out so I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the last pizza and I'm gonna get this up on my peel and we're gonna build the pizza here on the peel where we can go straight to the uh, straight to the rock box with it so I'm gonna start this guy with a little bit of my pizza sauce and then we're gonna put a little mozzarella on it and then we'll finish that with some pepperoni and now this guy is ready for the pizza oven so our oven is nice and hot here I'm looking at about 715 degrees here on the deck so let's get that pizza in okay we're gonna put this guy in here and then start our timer to see how long that takes and I'm gonna just let you watch here with me as this thing cooks I may try to get you up a little closer here where I know the light here is not that great let me see if I can make that any easier to see so I'll stop the camera here until we rotate it okay we're at about the minute mark so I'm gonna use my turning peel and we're gonna give this guy a little rotation and let it go a little longer here and then turn it some more and we're just gonna kind of keep it turning as we go here this is gonna cook very quickly we've been going a minute and a half and man this thing's looking awesome so far we're coming up on the two minute mark so we're just gonna keep that guy going a little bit this thing's looking awesome we're coming up on two minutes 15 seconds look at the bottom that's looking great down there I'm saying we're gonna be done by about the three minute mark here maybe we're at two minutes and 30 seconds 
I'm really liking how this thing's looking here. Oh yeah. I'm not the best turning artist, but this guy's ready to come out. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, let's take a closer look at this guy. Guys, this pizza is looking fantastic. I love the spotting I've got on the top of that. And let me see if I can give you a peek here at what the bottom of this pizza looks like. I mean, that's perfect. That's absolutely beautiful. So let's take it upstairs and we'll cut it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one apart. Let you have a look here. Take a look at that. Does that not look amazing? This crust is gonna have a flavor it's got more of an earthiness to it than a typical crust. So guys, give this a try. Let me know what you think. Until next time, this is John Setzler with Atlanta Grill Company.